All right, so here we are at home, and um, I'm about to show you the miracle, the true miracle of dragon fruit, at least in my opinion. So I got my son here, McKeon. Hi, McKeon. <laughs> McKeon's a good guy. He's uh, my main hand on the ranch. So we're going to do superfood smoothie, right, Mac? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just put in some blueberries, the Oh, the whole thing. Oh, wow. So, drinks for everybody. And um, you've seen these bullet blenders they have now. Okay. That looks yummy. But the problem with blueberries, as you know, and so many of these superfoods, is... Well, yeah. Not bad? Not too bad. Okay. Not too sweet. Do you want to brix it for me then? Sure. Wow. That's actually really good. Yeah. Mm. A lot of times when I eat blueberries, they're bitter. There's a little bitter aftertaste, but I'm going to guess 12, 13? 13. 13. 13. Yeah, look at that. I'm good at this. All right, so now what we're going to do is cut up uh No, we're going to put the um, moringa powder in, right? Yeah. All right. This is uh, moringa powder. And some people might know it as the uh, uh, superfood or miracle plant, sorry. And it's been identified as the most nourishing food available to man. That's what I heard the other day, some, some, something to that effect. So we're going to blend in the Moringa powder and we're going to first determine how bitter it might be. We had a nice um, sugar sweetness from the blueberries and surprisingly not bitter. Um, Oftentimes, I, as I've mentioned, you get bitter components in the uh, blueberries and other fruits. So what do you got, Mac? Definitely a get aftertaste. <laughs> oh, I, sh I should what, show that face again. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me try. Oh, yeah. Plant base. Wouldn't want to take too much of that. Alfalfa. Alpha. Grass. Yeah, alfalfa, right. Grass. Mm -hmm, grass, good, good, good. So now, yeah, and even a stronger aftertaste. So let me pause this while we cut our fruit here. Okay, so we took one medium or a small medium um, American Beauty dragon fruit. Only one. And we're going to mix it in with the um, unedible smoothie that we've got going here because the blueberries did not mask the moringa and what I'm about to show you here is something very powerful okay I guess I'm leaving it recording so you can see that I'm not cheating on anything and a lot of juice. oh is it juicy can I see in there yeah With just a little bit of blueberries uh -huh. and one dragon fruit you made almost an entire cup serving right okay okay now here's the here's the test to see if his face all tweaks up that's actually pretty tasty ah Small aftertaste, but very sweet. Uh huh. Okay, I think my point has been made. Um, do the ultimate test there. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, moringa is noticeable, but actually pleasant. So we'll pour that in a glass and serve it to you in a minute. Okay, so here it comes. 
That's a little thick. You could water it down, I suppose, or I don't even know if you need to water it down. Does it need watering down, Mac? No. Okay. So is it mine or it's yours or our friends here? It's for the friends. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Oh my gosh. So delightful. Okay, so what do we got? We got the Miracle Fruit Dragon Fruit. High in fiber, natural fiber. That, um, of course, has to be broken down to extract the sugars and nutrients. And in the process of being broken down, uh, is actually becomes, what is that? Um, um, what, yeah, it's metabolized, but what's the, uh, it's, it's good for diabetes, right? Right, correct. And also, you got this ability to neutralize bitter flavors. And therein lies the miracle of dragon fruit. 